Yo, what is up guys? We are back. How's everybody doing? Uh, so the other day we played a little game called Last Generation. It was a fan-made game that uh, is pretty much Super Smash Bros, but with anime characters. And it has over a hundred playable characters. Uh, a lot of people were interested in this game. A lot of people wanted to know where to get it, how to get it, all that stuff. Uh, so this is going to serve as a short tutorial on how to download the game, where to download the game, and how to set it up. Because the, uh, the process to set it up is slightly more complicated than just downloading it and clicking play. Uh, now, it's not rocket science or anything. It's not absurdly difficult. Um, but it is just slightly more complicated than just downloading and clicking play. There's a little bit of stuff you gotta do uh, beforehand if you want the game to work properly. So, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna hop over to our desktop and we're gonna go to this website now a link for this will be available in the description so please go check it out there uh, it'll be available in the description just click the link in the description and you should see this now I should say that for the most part this tutorial is going to be for how to get this game on Windows because I don't have a Mac so it's it's gonna be Windows uh, however the process for getting it on Mac more or less should be about the same um, but you're gonna scroll down to this this is version 3.0 uh, should be the first thing on the page and you can see it says download and it's got the Windows icon if you're on Mac all you gotta do is click this and they got the Mac version right here. So there you go. There you go. So if you're on Mac, they do have a Mac version. Make sure you click that. Uh, but if you're on Windows like I am, you're just going to click this. And then this little page is going to pop up. And then uh, we're going to see this down here. Now we're going to click save. And it's going to take a little while because this is 1.2 gigabytes worth of data which uh, I actually have really good internet, so this isn't gonna take too long. But for some people, this may be a very lengthy process. Uh, as we can see, we're already about 40% of the way through. Um, but yeah, I have, I have really decent internet, so 1.2 gigs isn't gonna take that long. But for some other people, it could take a while. Um, so just keep that in mind. You know, depending on how good your internet is, depending on if you have an SSD versus a, uh, versus a, um, you know, a hard drive, you know, there, there's a lot of, there's a lot of variables here. Um, but for the most part, we're about to be done. We're 92%, almost done. And we should be done now. Let's see. Yep, there we go. So now we're going to click open folder. And you can see that we have it right here. Now, what I would recommend doing from this point forward is just go ahead, create yourself a new folder, call it whatever the hell you want. doesn't really matter. Um... We're just gonna call this the last the last gen. We're just gonna call it that because the, the name of the game is the last generation. Now that you have your new folder, we're gonna take this file that we just downloaded, put it in that folder. That's just to keep things nice and neat and easy to work with. Uh, so now we open that and you can see the file that we just downloaded is in here So the next step is you're gonna want to right click that and then using uh, some sort of uh, unzipping uh, You know 
uh, programs such as WinRAR or 7-Zip or anything like that. If you don't have that, I'll have a link to one of those as well in the description. Uh, I recommend WinRAR, but you know 7-Zip works as well. Uh, but basically, you're going to want to right-click that, and you're going to want to click Extract Here. So once you've done that, you'll see this pop up. Uh, if you're using 7-Zip, it might look slightly different. But if you're using WinRAR, uh, it, sh it should look like this. So this is going to take a little bit of time, and I do not want to do an update for Windows right now. I am recording. I will do that later. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, anyway, so this is going to take a little bit of time. But yeah, so we're almost done here. Again, if, you, uh, if you're using an SSD versus a hard drive, this process might take a little bit longer. Um, yeah, there we go. So now we are fully extracted you can see here these are all of the files that we just downloaded and you can see the game is actually right here but we're not gonna open the game yet because it's actually not ready yet there's still another step we have to do so now that we've done that we're gonna close this out we're gonna go back to this website that we were just at downloading you know all that and we're gonna go back we're going to go back to the first page. Here we go. Just like we were before, except this time, instead of clicking this and downloading the Windows version, or clicking this to download Mac if you're on the Mac version, you're actually going to click this right here. TLG package add .zip. You're going to click that. That is very important that you get that. If you do not do this step, the game will not work properly. So this is crucial that you do this. So we're going to download that, which this file is actually roughly 2 gigabytes. So uh, this is going to take, uh, again, for some people this is going to take a really long time. Um, my internet is fairly good and I have an SSD so it's not going to take too too long but for some people this might take a very long time because this is roughly 2 gigabytes of data um, so just keep that in mind if you're in a place where your internet's not that great this could take a while um, so just be patient you know all that stuff uh, but we're already about 42% of the way through. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to let this download real quick. And then we will be on our way to having a properly working game. Uh, do make sure you stick around because I'm going to have to show you what to do with these files once you download them. Uh, we are almost there. Let's see, 73%, 74, yeah, we're almost there. 78, 79, 80. We're getting close. Oh, I forgot they put the Terminator in uh, the new Mortal Kombat game. I forgot about that. God, that's so crazy. And now we are done. So now that we've done that, we're going to open what we just downloaded. And this time, we're going to make another file. We're just going to go ahead, and I'm just going to name this add. You can name it whatever you want. But we're going to drag this file that we just downloaded into there. 
And now we are going to extract here, just like we did before, which again, it's probably gonna take a little bit of time, but we're gonna go ahead and do that. So we're just gonna wait for this to uh, be processed. This game is fantastic, by the way. It's totally worth it. Definitely uh, support the creators of this game because this was a very ambitious project, I'm sure. And they're, and they're just out here giving it away for free, you know? Which, I mean, they kind of have to because they used a shit ton of copyrighted characters. <laughs> so, like, they wouldn't be allowed to make money off of it anyway, but... You know, they made it for the sake of making something, not for the sake of making money, which is really, really cool. And you can tell a lot of love and stuff went into this game, so definitely do uh, check them out. So there we go. Now that we've done that, we're going to take both of these folders and just have them open side by side like this. Uh, so this is the folder that we downloaded, the, the first download. This is our new folder that we just made. So keep that in mind. Um, so in the original folder, we're going to open this. And then we're going to leave it right here. We're not going to do anything else. Now, on this folder, we're going to open this. And we're going to take package.nw. Nothing else, just that. We're going to take it. We're going to drag it right over here. That's all you got to do. So now that we have done that, we can close this out. You can actually delete uh, this second file now. And uh, now this file, the last gen file, the first file we made, should now be done. So now all you have to do to open the game is go to the one that says the last generation, make sure it says application right here, double click that, and you will see a black screen will pop up. Now don't worry if it takes a while because it does take a while before you see any sort of things pop up. But if we give it a second, you should see, there we go. So now we're in, now we have a working game. We can hop in, we can play this game. And um, yeah, so that is how you set up this game. Um, it's very important that you follow those steps exactly. Um, if, if, if you did not, uh, put in that package.nw file, it will not work properly. So just be sure that you did that. But there we go. So now we have a working game and, uh, we're all good to go.